When I bought this printer, I wanted the unit to be self-contained. I didn't want to tether it to my computer like my old printer bought 1405. I wanted it to have its own light, its own camera, and other than calibration or moving the prints, I didn't want to have to touch it at all. So far I've achieved most of this, and the light is the final step. This printer runs completely from a Raspberry Pi 3 controlling the printer using Octopi. I set up a button in Octopi that allows me to switch power states via a Bluetooth power adapter that will turn both the printer and the new LED panel on. I have these LEDs laying around that used to light up the area behind my desk. These LEDs aren't perfectly white like I wanted them to be, but I will upgrade them later. For now, they work great. The super glue and baby powder method works so well on the dagger that I decided to use it on the project as well. I plan on painting it at some point and wanted the seams to be perfect and this method worked great. Even without painting, the baby powder helps hide the seams. This process was one of the most tedious points of the project. After tinning all the pads on seven strips, I had to strip 24 pieces of two centimeter long wire and solder each chain together. Overall, I'm happy with this addition to the printer. I can change the color of the LEDs for a neat effect or leave it on white to film it. This also allows me to use my helping hands light for something other than pointing it at the 3D printer for a time lapse. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.